Hello everyone, it's Dave here from RackNerd and today I'm going to show you uh, how easy it is to set up a reseller web hosting account. Now you may be wondering why would I want to set up a reseller web hosting account and who is it for? Well a reseller web hosting account is for uh, say a creative agency that may design websites and want to provide their own uh, hosting uh, service for the websites they develop. Or you may be wanting to start a web hosting company and want to resell uh, shared web hosting. So here at RankNerd, we offer some really good plans to get you started. So to access our reseller hosting plans, you can go to our website, RackNerd.com. Under the hosting uh, navigation, click reseller hosting. It will bring you to this web page that I'm currently on. We have a few different packages here. We have the 1459 package, which gives you 40 gigs of web space and 20 cPanel accounts. Now 20 cPanel accounts can be increased. So if you don't use all of the 40 gigs of space, you can pay additional license fee for uh, increasing those cPanel accounts. If you want to step up to the next middle range uh, account, we have the uh, 40 hosting accounts here, which gives you 100 gig of space and so forth, the 200 gig space, which gives you a slightly higher increase of cPanel accounts. So I've already pre-purchased this 40 gig reseller account, but I will show you the process on how to uh, uh, purchase it yourself. So you click order now um, and we put in a domain name here. We've already got one, so we just do racknerdtv.com and we'll use that. But as you can see, I've already registered that um, for this demo purpose. So we'll just change that to TV2 just to get us past this first step. And you'll see here that you've got a data center location. Now, Racknerd offers them in Germany, France, and Florida, and also Los Angeles. So depending where your customers are, you can select the appropriate location. And then we just click continue and you would fill out all your details, etc. But like I said, I've already created an account here, so I'm going to log in. So here I am, I'm logged in now and uh, I'm going to go to services. I'm going to click on our web hosting uh, reseller plan there. So you'll see here on the left hand side we have uh, two logins. Um, so we got login to WHM which stands for uh, Web Host Manager and we also got a login to cPanel which stands for Control Panel. So in order to uh, log in to the Web Hosting Manager which we'll do first, we'll click that. So here we are logged into the dashboard here. Now there's actually two ways of accessing this. You can uh, log in via the client area like I just showed you or you can log in via your domain using a specific port. So for example, you would just go say HTTPS um, www.racknerdtv.com and then you would put a semicolon and 2087 is the web hosting manager port. Now, if you wanted to log into the control panel, you'd be changing that port to 2083. So that's just another way of accessing the two various panels. So let's get back to the panel anyway. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a package. So we're going to click packages and we're going to go add a package. Now you may wonder why do I need to add a package? Well, it's very simple. Um, the client that you're uh, providing the web hosting service to, um, you may want to give them access to the control panel. And when I show you the control panel a bit later on, and you probably don't want them to run wild unless you have a huge plan because we do have only 40 gigs of space. So you may want to limit their disk space. So you can change this to 1024, which is in megabytes. So that's one gig. You may only want to give them one FTP account that they can create and you might want to only give them um, two email addresses. So this is where you can sort of narrow it down um, and really hone in your packages and you can create many packages to suit your different clients. So that, that should do. So we'll click uh, add. Oh, I actually might need to give it a name here. So we'll just go one gig package and we'll scroll down and go add. And if we go edit a package, you'll see the packages there. That's all we need to do. So you can come back and you can make changes if you need to. Um, but 
for this uh, demo purpose, this should be just fine. So we'll click back on the logo up here. They'll bring us back to the main dashboard and we need to create an account. So we'll click new account. You can see here it lists the number of accounts you uh, have available to you. Like I said, you can increase this. You just need to open a support ticket, ask for it to be increased. There'll be a small license fee per cPanel account and we can sort you out no problem. Okay, now down to the domain here. Um, we're gonna go rack. Uh, actually, let's be a bit more creative. Let's go uh, the best cafe dot cafe.com and let's go the best cafe that'll do we can just use password generator put an email address test at rack nerd tv.com now this is where you select a package uh, so we've only got one package that is fine you can adjust your dns settings so that is also fine you can always do this a bit later and we can click create done so that's how easy it is to create an account so we'll go back to the main dashboard and list accounts and you'll see our cpanel account there now as an administrator you can log into this user's uh, cpanel account directly by clicking the cpanel logo and this is what the client would see if you decided to give the credentials to your client so as you can see the limits that we put in place are there they can only create two email accounts. They can only have one FTP account. And you'll see that we have uh, this space is one gig. Now, I just want to go back to our client area here and show you another way of accessing the main host account uh, to cPanel. Like I said before, log into cPanel. So we can click that. And now you'll see your host account. So back when we were signing up, we had put in racknerdtv.com. Well, in the demo, we showed that it was racknerdtv2.com. But um, like I said, I had already created it. So that's what it is. This is your host account. So you can run your actual website off the root host account. Now, what makes Racknerd even better for your reseller hosting needs? Every reseller account gets client exec for free. Now, what is client exec? Well, client exec, everything that we just did, client exec automates. So when a client comes to your website and they want to purchase a web hosting plan or purchase a, a web design package plan, you can set up all of these plans right here in client exec. That's what it's used for. So it will automate it. You could be asleep. It could be at 1 a.m. in the morning and your client's like, I want a web hosting package. And you, as long as you've set it up in your system here, they'll buy the web hosting package. You can set it up um, to uh, process credit card transactions with PayPal or Stripe or even crypto. It'll take the client's payment and it will also create the web hosting account without you even touching it. This is seriously an amazing feature that you get for absolutely nothing when you pay for a reseller hosting plan. Because at Racknerd, we really wanna see you succeed. So that is how easy it is to get a reseller hosting plan with Racknerd. I hope this helps and I wish you all the very best on your journey ahead. If you have any questions or you really just need a bit more information, don't hesitate to contact us on the live chat here or send us an email at sales at Until next time, have an amazing day and we'll catch you in the next one.